Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. In this era, of course, everyone knows what a bank is. But people who often carry out banking activities and those who are uncertain, they are already familiar with this one place. There are many activities that can be done at the bank, such as saving, saving money, credit, and various other financial transactions. You could say that banks are very closely related to modern society. However, from this number, it can be divided into two types, namely conventional banks and Islamic banks. Islamic banks are very well accepted by the community. This can be seen from the rapid development of Islamic banks. More and more people become customer in existing Islamic banks. This is certainly related to the concept of Islamic banks that use the concept of Islamic in their transaction. As a country with the largest number of Muslims, of course, the presence of this one bank immediately gets a place in the heart of the people. The following will explain about Islamic banks with the advantages and disadvantages of saving at Islamic banks. Sharia Bank Principle As a bank that runs a transaction will based on the provisions and principles of Islamic law. Of course, Islamic banks have difference with conventional banks. Islamic banks use the appropriate concept in Islam as regulated in the fatwa there are at least four principles used by Islamic Bank in carrying out their operational activities. Number one, the principle of justice and balance. The purpose of this principle is that Islamic banks regulate justice between right and obligation for bad customer and the bank itself. The relationship between customer and Islamic banks must be based on the pleasure of each party and there is no element of coercion. Number two, benefit principle. Islamic banks put forward the principle of benefit, which means that Islamic banks in running their business must be useful and in accordance with Islamic rules. And number three, the principle of universalism. Even though it is a bank that uses Islamic principle in carrying out its business, Sharia banking is only open to customers who are Muslim. Islamic banks can accept everyone to transact. Number four, the principle doesn't contain kahar, mashir, usury, injustice, and unlawful objects. As a uh, base on Islamic in carrying out its transaction activities, Islamic banks have the principle not to transact with methods that are forbidden in Islamic such as karar. Benefit of saving in Sharia banks, although its popularity is not comparable to conventional banks. There are several advantages of service provided by Islamic banks that are not owned by conventional banks. Some of the advantages of saving in Islamic bank includes number one, akad. Akad according to faith in Islam as a Muslim, of course someone always tries to live live according to Islamic law. The contract in Islamic banks is quite diverse so that it can be adjusted to the needs of the customer. The contracts used in Islamic banks include the following Wadiah contract, which is self-keeping contract in the form of money or goods 
between the party who own the money and goods and the party entrusted with maintaining the safety and security of the goods. Mutarabah contract. The second contract is a provide selling contract where the customer entrusts his money to be managed by the Shariah Bank. Usually, this money will be used by the business with a note that if the business is successful, the profits will be divided according to the contract. Card is a loan agreement to the customer with the rule that the customer must return the loan at the time agreed upon at the beginning.